Ishii was a Native American from Northern California who became known as the last truly wild Stone Age man to live in North America. In other videos, I've showed you how to make the tools and weapons Ishii used to survive in the wild, including his arrows. In this video, I'll show you how to make an Ishii style knife. There are only a few examples of these original knives known to exist, which were made by Ishii during his time while living at the museum. I will post a link showing a photo of an original Ishii knife in the description below. Ishii made this style of knife out of green glass from the curved side of a broken bottle. The rounded cutting edge is very symmetrical and can be used in a similar manner to a small ulu knife. In his native homeland, Ishii was cut off from a source of naturally occurring volcanic glass obsidian. So to make his arrowheads and other tools, he would sneak into settlers' camps and raid the junk pile for any broken bottles or pieces of glass. The first step in making an Ishii style knife is to remove the rounded bottom of a glass bottle. There are several ways to do this, but my favorite is to place a large nail in the bottle and then shake it up and down until the bottom breaks free cleanly. These rounded bottoms of a broken glass bottle can be used to make arrowheads. Here's an arrowhead I flint napped out of an old 7-up bottle. To make the Ishii style of knife, we're going to be using the rounded sides of the bottle. To get the piece of glass we need, we place the bottle on the ground and then strike it near the neck with a rock. Continue to strike the bottle until you have several small rounded pieces of glass. Each bottle will produce enough material for several Ishii style knives. To shape the glass, Ishii used a pressure flaking tool which consisted of a piece of wood with a nail driven in one end of it. This pointed nail could be placed along the side of the glass and used to drive off flakes along the edge. Continue removing flakes along the edge until your piece of glass is the general size and shape of your finished knife. The final step is to create the sharp beveled cutting edge by only pushing off flakes on one side of the glass that used to be the outside of the bottle. And now we have a completed Ishi style glass bottle knife with a sharp serrated edge that is perfect for cutting up wild meat such as this venison heart.